my sock gonna do this one. Thank you, sock. Thank you. Yep. You welcome. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Socks, y'all. <laughs> yes, big <laughs> Going out there with her socks. Yes. I have people that follow me that I don't really think they like me, but they just keep it up with me. It's just weird. It's really weird. Ugh. Bend my legs to one side and scratch it uh, to the other side. I have a leg up the you know, like, ah, ah, Yes. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All or nice. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again, it's gonna be rough All on us We're, We're gonna, gonna make it. it It hurt me so bad If I was younger, I would've jumped up And me and my sister would've been on that bed Beating the hell out of each other We would've been on the floor Choking each other I'm telling you We would've been throwing down But it wasn't my intentions to fight my sister in any type of way or to be mad with her because I love my sister. I don't even want to get emotional about it. Good morning, good morning. I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and just got me a decaf coffee this morning. I'm on my way to um, the house, um, as you know. Um, I mentioned it inside of an ASMR video that I did doing my makeup get ready with me and I was eating those sour belts I had to delete sorry y'all I had to delete I know some of y'all was upset because I deleted the video I had to delete it because I put in that I was eating sour patches I don't know why they reminded me of sour patches my brain literally typed in um, ASMR makeup eating sour patches i had to take it down take sour patches off because that definitely wasn't the sour patch or the sour patch kids it was the sour belt and y'all know last time I did a sour belt, I had ate a candy apple a couple of years ago with the sour belt. And it was around the snowman candy apple. It was a sour belt was around the neck or the waist. I don't remember. I think it was the neck, like a tie. It was so cute. Anyway, um, I did mention that I had moved. I did in moving. I'm still moving. I still got stuff like packed to the core in this truck. Um, I'm exhausted even from this morning moving stuff out of the truck into the apartment and I'm bringing some stuff back with me because um, basically it's just a lot and we don't have like a whole lot of time but I stopped to get me something hot to drink mm. this is exactly what I needed oh my god I got the AC running let me turn it off for a second because it's not like really like burning up hot but it is hot out here. The wind is blowing. It's really pretty. But yesterday it hit like 100 degrees. Okay, I got to turn the AC back on. It literally started burning up really quick. <laughs> okay, but... Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. But, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Like, just, we've been moving. It's like the seventh day. This has been the hardest, the hardest move. The hardest move that we have. And I think it was because of all of the stairs in the, um, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, old place. But now in the new place. Oh, yeah, Nadine, here are your hash browns. They look good. Dunkin' Donuts hash browns always smell so good. But I don't want hash browns this morning. I have to have like a taste for french fries and hash browns and stuff like that. I really want my day to kind of go smoother. I know it's not going to go but so smooth because I'm still doing some stuff. I'm going back to the house to um, do a walk around and to sweep up all the stairs and to sweep, you know, the garage or whatever and turn in my keys, um, my house keys, mailbox key and the garage key. And then it will literally be closed out. And it will be over. And I'm so freaking happy. Like nothing's perfect. I know nothing can never be like really perfect. 
but I feel better about the move and I feel like my apartment was a part of the old door so for some reason it feel very refreshing very relieved to be closing it and starting new somewhere somewhere else there's a few things that I added new to my life and that I took out my life and I feel really good about it I feel like we came a long a long way to this point and y'all been riding with me y'all been riding with me through my ups and downs through my ups and downs I put up a video this morning too um mm -mm. yeah I did put up a video this morning and that was the makeup sour belt. But yesterday I put up a video. It's been on the website. But remember that some videos are on the website first before it hit YouTube. And some videos will never hit YouTube because it's for the website. But I did put up a video where I was doing my hair. And the other part of that video where I do the full makeup look is on ASMR is true. No, excuse me. It's on makeup by it's my makeup by spirit. A lot of you wish me better, said they're glad that I'm feeling better. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a lot better. Someone even said, Spirit, you look so much healthier. I know that's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am feeling better. My anxiety calmed down a lot. I was really going through it. I understand now why I was going through so much and it's because um, old doors closing and new doors opening it was a lot to handle plus I always seem to get burnt or cut or something that would get in the way of my health and make it even harder to pull out from it but this last anxiety was hard. It was it was really really hard. I don't I don't want to get to that space again, to the point where it's hard to pull myself out of it. Okay, I'm exhausted. I just finished cleaning out the bottom stairs, the garage and everything. Nadine's on her way out the house. We just, we took out all the trash. This is it, you guys. I'm going to go turn in my key. Uh, hate to go in the office. I'm all sweaty. Uh, look like my, my breast part trying to dry up a little bit, so that's good. But, ugh, oh my God, this this was so tiring. 123. Turning in all my keys and my uh, garage pieces. You got two garage pieces, my key, and mailbox, and yeah. Hello. Good morning, special spirit of lights. Good morning. Good morning. I know it's been a minute since I picked up the, um, the vlog channel. Every time, I mean, ever since, it's been a minute since I picked up the camera and just say hello to you. Um, it's morning. I went to Wendy's this morning, 10 o'clock this morning. As soon as they opened, I saw the guy open up the door. Okay. That's how early it, it was for Wendy's. And, um, um, I went looking for a uh, like a hand car wash so I can kind of like 
clean out the car because the car is like heck of like dusty, dirty, everything because of the move. And um, mm, I got avocado everywhere. Okay, and I just feel like it'll help, you know, bring down some of the chaos that's going on around me. Like it's it's chaos in the house. It's chaos in the truck. It's chaos, chaos, chaos. The only thing I got to do, I got to map myself, I didn't do, was do a change of address with the post office. And it's crazy because I, I went online and changed all like my credit cards and all of my like personal information, my banking information, stuff like that. But I didn't change it with the USPS and I need to do that right away. Uh, I've been so caught up in stuff, you know. Um, my apartment still hasn't have like has like it's supposed to have a mi uh, a new microwave in it, and um, it wasn't in there. So they ordered one to come in. So it came in the next day. Yeah, okay. It's like two weeks later. I didn't get my microwave, but I went in the office and um, the manager is putting in an order for my wife microwave. So I'm happy about that. Cause I just want, you know, on them days you don't feel good. Oh, let's see just how strong this morning. I just want to be able to throw a cup in a microwave and make me something hot, like my ginger, my decaf coffee, my hot chocolate, my tea, something. Mm-hmm. So. I've been miserable without my microwave. The new place we live in is smaller. So I really don't want to buy a microwave. I want I don't want no extra space taken up at all. And it'll be my luck. I go out there and spend my money on the microwave and the microwave show up. I don't know if necessary because the microwave come with the apartment. I found my plastic jacket this morning. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If you watch the Nick Thing Sparrow Vlogs, the moment she bought me this jacket and it fit like a dress, like it had my thighs and my butt, everything in it. At first, I was like, I'm not going out there with that on. <laughs> but, mm, at this point, When it's time to do what you gotta do, the embarrassment can just go out the window. Forget the embarrassment. I got my jacket on today. Maybe it's meant for the plastic to be on some of this. Okay. Mm. And Jean is already out there doing her thing. We came out here yesterday. And I was so motivated. I got halfway down the track. Well, there's no turning back. Mm -hmm. You might have to finish. A big drop of rain came down. I heard Nadine say, push. I'm just going to pour down. Child, the sky fell out. I was soaking wet. Soaking wet. Nadine ran and got the truck. But I still had ways to go. So then she ran back on the track to help me out. She gave me her hat and everything. I still was wet. I was soaking wet. She said, Mom. 
she fell out. This is the moment you get motivated to sky fall out. <laughs> and the whole time I was talking to God, I said, now you know this not right. Hmm? Now you know I love the rain. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to be getting rain on. McDonald's didn't even have my coffee ready this morning. I had to watch everybody get their stuff. I'm trying to adjust the camera. Down the freaking wallet that I have it sitting on is moving out of place. I had to watch everybody else get their food and their coffee. They didn't even have no decaf ready. I had to wait like five minutes, maybe ten. I feel like it was ten. She told me to pull up and number one and wait for my coffee. I wish she would have said I ain't had no decaf because I had waited forever. But when all the cars were gone, I back up. I was gonna tell them, look, the decaf not ready. I'm done. Like, oh, just get my money back. When she said, oh, let me check it. I said, I said, you forgot about me? You forgot about me out there? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Be nice, spirit. It's early in the morning. Just say thank you and drive away. Mmm. I got avocado on my salad. Um, it's nice that you can tell Wendy's you want avocado now. I was thinking about my son this morning. I hope he's doing good. I haven't heard from him in two weeks. I watched some good movie, y'all. Oh my god. I think it's a series. But no spaces. This is what it says. Mother, father, son. No spaces. Mm-mm. All I can say is wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. I'm on episode six. This show is crazy. Mm. I was watching a movie with Nadine last night. I think it's called Hostage with Bruce Willis. 
That was crazy too. Oh my god. I'm in the park. But Bruce Willis should have ran the license plates of his three boys in the truck. I do something out the window. He's a cop. And if he really had did that, I just saw that truck was stolen. Those boys got in the house. I hold this family hostage and they was rich. All kind of money in the safe, safe open. Because the dad was going to give the daughter $40 that she had been begging for. The garage was open because the daughter was trying to leave out. I'm going to hang out with some people. The dad didn't want her around. He was so busy arguing with the... Not really arguing, but telling the daughter why. She couldn't go out to dress the way she was. They climbed over the fence and he didn't see it over the security cameras. And they got in the house. Mm-mm-mm. That's a good show. I'm going to finish watching it. When I get home. Well, not exactly when I get home. Because, oh my God. Mm, my room is a nightmare. Right now. The house is just chaotic. Um, the only thing that's really clean is the front room. So, that's why I'm filming that right now in my ASMR videos because that's the only thing that's clean. Everything is like crazy. But I went to Five Below, so I'm going to do a $5. I mean, a $5. Child, <laughs> so, I went to Five Below. I'm going to do a $5. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God, that's $5. Let me tell you why I follow this on my mind. I'm going to do a haul for five below. But I went online last night on Facebook. And this lady live from Papa Bazzi Jewelry. And I bought me some jewelry. Some cute stuff. Everything was like $5. I felt like... I was in a bidding match. Every time I put down a number that I wanted something, somebody else kept got it before me. I was upset. <laughs> a couple more people was upset. They left the, they left the chat. Mm-hmm. Okay. She was showing something. And she would say it's the last one. And it'd be the real cute stuff. So, I was lucky with the stuff I did get. But there was a lot of stuff I didn't get that was really cute. And, um, I went to bed late last night. Like 12 o'clock. And they didn't say I stayed in the live for two hours. I was like, oh God, I can't be getting caught up in people's live. I can't. And I was supposed to have got up in the middle of the night and filmed my haul. And I wasn't able to do that. I woke up this morning, daybreak. Mmm. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. Mm. That was good. For the freaking last drop. Like. I pray and hope. That every one of my special spirit lights. Are doing well. That you're okay. 
that if you're not, that God giving you the strength to be able to get through what you need to get through, and that you're going to be okay. And know that you are loved, because Spirit Girl love you, and I'm sending out love for you. And, and when you can, don't have the strength to, to feel like you're going, I'm holding you real tight so you can go on spiritually holding you I'm holding you and telling you you can you can go on you can go on and I ran across this slogan this morning looking for a freaking car wash Dang, I think I think I just burped like three times like really oh my god okay um the slogan said there's more to life than more Yes, that's deep. That is really deep. Because in everything in, that people do, everything that we always do, it's like we want more and more and more and more. We're never happy or enjoying what we have. You don't have to be content with what you have. Like, oh, this is it. But you can enjoy where you are. Enjoy your mind space and enjoy what you have enjoy it oh my goodness enjoy what's going on around you and be grateful for some of the things in your life like do you take time and just think about that i'm sorry y'all about this beep and noise it's like some type of um i said it before um generator i want to say that uh Matter of fact, I got a loud generator by my bedroom. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do about it. You know, because I did want to film in my bedroom. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do about that. I'm going to check the circuit breakers and see how that works. Um, and plus, I got the AC on because I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot. I'm not even ready, y'all. I'm not ready to go out there. I'm not ready to go out there with my little plastic suit on. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to, Mama's Bear going to do it, y'all. I'm going to do it, y'all. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you ever think about the things that you just grateful for? Let me tell you, I was grateful for this morning that I was able to stretch my leg in my bed. Well, not in my bed. I'm laying on the couch right now because my bed is uh, being occupied by all of the moving stuff. <laughs> oh my God, my room is terrible. My daughter said, bye, your room is terrible. It is, it is. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to take my subscribers on the journey with me. I'm going to show y'all my room and, and we're going to get it together. It might take us 30 days to get that room together, but we're going to get it together, especially for the lights. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, girl. We're going to do it, baby. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So I was so grateful and thankful that I could stretch my leg this morning and just uh, bend my leg to one side and stretch it. Uh, to the other side. I have a leg up here. I was like, ah, ah, yes. Yes, man. And then I said, okay, let me try to sit up. Because usually it takes me a minute to like try to sit up and get my bones together so I could try to stand. Ooh, it hurt. But this morning I stood. I stood. I was up. I was like, okay. Oh, spirit. Okay, girl. <laughs> I got up this morning. I told my daughter, I said, I'm going walking. She said, okay, let me get myself together. My daughter got real excited. Thank God. I thank God all the time that we each other's support system. I thank God for my special spirit of life. I thank God for my fan base. I love my fan base. I love the people who literally follow me legitimately because they truly love everything about me and they just want to know what's going on about me. And you know, I do have people that follow me that I don't really think they like me, but they just keep it up with me. It's just weird. It's really weird. But anyway, I, I, I appreciate the people who genuinely love me. Like, I got my babies who call me mama spirit i got my babies who call me auntie i got my girls who see me as their sister their friend <laughs> their buddy or just their associate i'll be your associate hey girl how you doing i right, take care <laughs> yes and i got my queens i love y'all i have uh my my i have men also hey y'all hey y'all you know and i i got some loves who who, who probably likes spirit girl a little bit okay just a little bit you like me a little bit okay <laughs> just a little bit okay and then you know and i got 
you know, my people who's, who feels like they could be my brother, my cousin. I could be their sister, you know. So, oh, Lord. I got some people. I, I might have one or two who probably feel like I could be their daughter, right? But listen, okay, I think even the ones that's way older than me see me like a mama. So, I'm okay with that. But, yeah. I thank God for y'all every single day. I pray for all my people. I pray for the ones who, who's experiencing loss in their life, who's experiencing pain, who's experiencing fear, who's experiencing challenges and, and, and feel some type of um, discouraged. So I'm constantly, I'm praying. I'm praying for my new little itty bitty babies that listen to me, that they go to sleep and that they're having, you know, beautiful dreams and that they feel safe, that their mommy and their daddies are, are taking care of them and going to always be there for them. So I'm constantly I'm keeping my special spirit of lights in my heart. And my young people, yeah, I carry y'all right here. Right here, spirit, always give y'all a hug. Always give y'all a hug, you know. But anyway, I'm not going to run my mouth anymore. But think about what you could be grateful for this morning. What, what thankful for. Humble yourself. Enjoy your life, your surroundings. Appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that I'm going to be able to get out this truck, step my foot on this ground, and get out there and walk. Even if it takes me a long time to do it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, okay? <laughs> I'm going to do it. 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 Oh, God, I don't want to do it. I want to get out there and walk. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to get it over with, y'all. Look, I'm going to tell you what I got. I used to use gloves. Don't tell nobody I told y'all about this, okay? Because y'all know y'all say, Spit girl, you crazy, girl. You crazy. Did y'all see the uh, the new video? The ASMR video where I did my makeup with the neon wig. Child wig, cute, ain't it? It's cute. Um, I was talking about my neighbor. <laughs> Child. <laughs> That's what he do. That's what he do. I be trying to avoid him, okay? I know y'all think I'm crazy. But look. Instead of gloves, I can't find my gloves because my house isn't chaotic. I got me two, a pair, I got a pair of socks. Hi, y'all. I got socks. Yep. I'm on spirit hand this way. I'm going to keep all the sweat from, you know, running from her arms and wiping her forehead. Yep. That's what my sock going to do this morning. Thank you, side. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Socks, y'all. Yes, big <laughs> Going out there with us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I sure am. I got socks on my hand just to catch the water and everything like that. The drippings and stuff like that. Okay, let me put my keys in my hands. And I want to lock us out. Um, let me grab me some water so I can just sit it down. So when I come around, I can drink it. Okay, you guys, I'm out. I love you. And spare girl, see you in the next video. Bye.